Sanga Lindsay. I'm a landscape architect here in North Vancouver. Today we're going to do a little bit of what we call vertical gardening. And what we're going to use today are these strawberry pots. As you can see, I picked them because they've got some pretty funky colors. Um, red is my favorite color, yellow is my second. And I'm looking at pairing these colored pots with plants that will complement them. So that's sort of a bit of a designer thing. If you want to uh, add a an extra spark to your outdoor uh, decorating with your pots. Think about the color of your pots and the kind of edibles that can go with them. So in this case I've got two examples here and uh, for the yellow pots we're going to be using these peppers. They're, they're still little seedlings right now but what I've chosen here is uh, the purple little blue pepper and actually this one is an eggplant and it's called uh, fairy tale. I've picked them because they do have miniature colored fruit. They are smaller miniature edibles. And when they do fruit, the purple and the blues would be perfect with the yellow of the pot. Now, the other thing I'm going to be planting up is, and I'll be showing you today, is the strawberries. This is actually a, a strawberry pot, but as you can see, we can plant other things as well in these pots. We are going to be using these TriStar strawberries. And of course, we've got the, the red for the strawberries, the beautiful white flowers right now that are in bloom. And then later on, we'll have great big luscious red strawberries that will complement the red of the containers. So I'm gonna show you really easy how to take the strawberries, plant them, and create a very funky but functional edible pot that'll also be a nice decorating piece for your patio or garden. Step number one, uh, we do have drainage on the bottom of these pots. They're already pre-done. So we don't have to worry too much about drainage. So we're going to directly add soil to this planter. And what I'm using is uh, primarily a peat mix. It is a soilless mix. It also has a water holding polymer in it which is important because we don't want to be watering our pots every day. So this, this polymer acts as a sponge, holds additional water in the soil so that you're not watering every day or twice a day as the plants get bigger and fill out the pot. So we're just going to add a bit of soil to the bottom here. Oops. And we will be a little bit messy, no doubt, but we are gardening, so expect a little bit. So what I want to do is I want to start filling the bottom of the, the pot until we get to the first hole. And this is where we're going to actually take a couple of smaller of these smaller plants. I've actually pulled these from our edible green roof. Uh, because we just, uh, number one, we just wanted to add more vegetables to our roof as opposed to having strictly strawberries there. So what I'm doing is I'm actually putting the plant inside the pot with the roots inside, coming in contact with the first layer of soil, and I'm just threading the leaves out. And you want to be somewhat gentle, but these things are pretty tough, so not too bad here. So. All I'm doing is I'm pulling the strawberry plant through the hole and it's important with strawberry plants that you do make sure that you don't bury the crown, which is this piece right here, uh, within the soil. You want it somewhat exposed out of the hole because the strawberry plants will rot if you cover the crown with too much soil. Yeah, I'm just working my way around all the holes that have already been pre-made in this pot as so and I'm going to try and pick some smaller ones but again it takes a little bit of finesse a little bit of patience to pull those strawberries through the bottom and as you can see I'm working my way through picking some of the smaller plants that we pulled off our roof and trying to knead them through Try not to bust off too many flowers because we uh, play our cards right. We'll actually have strawberries in this container in about another month or so. So once we get our first layer done, then we want to go back and start to add another layer of soil till we get up to our next level of holes.
And again, it's just a process. Just keep weeding, wading your way through the holes, pulling out the strawberry plants, making sure the crowns, again, don't get buried in the soil. So then, in essence, that's what you want. And then we'll work our way up till we fill up this container. So here we are, we're all, we've already threaded the last strawberry plants through the last holes, the top holes, and just so you can take a look, all it is is simply layering the soil uh, on each tier and just laying in the roots and then covering the roots. You don't have to be uh, too technical about it. And then once we reach the top holes, all we do is simply backfill in the planter pot with soil. And we're constantly firming down, just sort of an easy hand pressure because the soil will settle once it gets watered. So always make sure that you're pressing down as you uh, put each layer of soil in. And then for the top piece, uh, what you can do is either put some lettuces on top or some other edible if you like. But I'm gonna keep this very consistent and I'm gonna use up the rest of our strawberries. So we're just gonna grab the rest of the plants that we have remaining here. And I'll do about three on top. Actually, I think two, because these will be quite vigorous. And we'll just add some more soil. Again, we always wanna make sure, really important, not to cover the, the crowns of the strawberry plants. We don't wanna kill them. And we're just backfilling around. So I'm just sort of ball, eyeballing it, taking into account the soil will settle a bit around the roots once this gets watered. Our final step, we wanna make sure that we do well water in the pot. We wanna make sure the soil is super saturated and that we actually see water running out the bottom. Uh, these strawberries or any plants will be cho uh, a bit uh, shocked when they first get watered in. And so you just want to keep watering as much as uh, soil can take it until the water runs up the bottom. Another month or so, these flowers will now turn into big red berries. This is a tri-star uh, strawberry. So we will have actually berries all summer. They are day neutral strawberry, which is great. So not only will you have something perfect for hanging, this does have a handle, hanging off your patio or your balcony, um, you'll also have color and you'll be able to harvest berries all summer long. If you want any more tips, please visit our site at www.sangadesigns.com and there we're blogging A Year in a Sustainable Garden all the time. If you want to check for uh, what's going on on our edible green roofs, we have bees and also some additional ideas for creating containers and just basically how to create more edibles in your garden in a very fun, funky, and decorative way. Thanks for watching.